Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all to your very own channel, Speak English with Bahad. This is me, Sabrina, here to guide you with the compulsory subject, General Science and Ability. Throughout our journey, we have covered two chapters. In this tutorial, we will initially begin with the third chapter, which is about weather and its variables. An overview of, the, of this tutorial, the points we will highlight in this lecture are, what is the weather? First of all, we will define it and we will uh, study a little details about it. In the second point, we will compare weather with the climate. In the third point, we will study weather variables in very detail. Now, what is weather? Weather is the state of atmosphere describing the degree to which it is hot or cold, either wet or dry, calm or stormy, or clear or cloudy. So these are basically the conditions of atmosphere. Weather refers to day-to-day -day temperature. This is basically a day-to-day -day temperature which is changing, which is not very constant. The study of weather is meteorology. And the people who study the weather are meteorologists. Actually, the word meteorologica has been raised by the Greek philosopher Aristotle in 350 BC. Other than that, Wilhelm and Jerkins are known as the modern fathers of meteorology. These are the modern meteorologists which has introduced the weather map charter which is used for the pr production of forecast. Weather conditions are determined by six factors, air, temperature, humidity, precipitation and speed and direction of wind. Now what is the difference between climate and weather? It is said that climate is just what you expect, weather is what you get. In other words, you can expect snow in Murray in January, but you may or may not get it on a particular day. The climate of an area or a country is known through the average weather over a long period of time. If an area has more dry days throughout the year than wet days, it would be described as a dry climate. A place which has more cold days than hot days would make it known to have a cold climate. So basically, the climate is a long-term condition of the atmosphere, whereas the weather is the short-term condition of the atmosphere. We can say that this is a day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere. For uh, The climate is basically for a record of 30 years. For example, in the, uh, it is very obvious the weather in the seasons is very constant. In winter, there is snow. In uh, summer, there are monsoons. Whereas the weather is temporary. It is constantly variable per day. Variable means it is changing. Now, weather variables. What are the vari weather variables? These are also known as the elements of the weather. These are temperature, pressure, precipitation, humidity, and wind. Number one is atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is weight of entire air column. One liter of air is equal to 1.3 grams. At sea level, one atmosphere is 1033.6 gram cubic centimeter. Pressure is the force of the air on a given surface divided by the area of that surface. The formula is force upon area. The instrument used to measure the pressure is called a barometer. In most weather systems, the air pressure is equal to the weight of the air column divided by the area of the column. Pressure decreases rapidly with height, halving about every 5.5 km. Pressure is shown on weather map, often called a synoptic map, with lines called isobars. Now, the second one is global temperature. Temperature is a measure of the degree of hotness of the air caused by the solar radiation. As we all know, sun is the ultimate responsible for the weather. Its rays are absorbed differently by land and weather water surface. However, equal solar radiation heat heats the ground quickly. There are three scales of temperature, Celsius, Kelvin, and Fahrenheit. The instrument used to measure this is called a thermometer. On Earth, temperature is highest at its latitude and lowest at the poles. In the equator, the temperature is warm throughout the year. 
In zones across the equator, it is warmest about a month after the summer solstice and coldest about a month after the winter solstice. The source of heat is solar radiation. Now, what is insulation? The energy received from the sun in the form of heat is called insulation. The amount of temperature over the globe, globe varies. So, I'm very sorry, you have a globe here, you have a spelling mistake. Here. Now, uh, we will actually analyze the amount of pressure in different zones of the Earth. Latitude made the temperature decreases away from equator. Distance from sea. Places near sea enjoy a moderate temperature because of water, moisture keeping the temperature of the day and night the same. Wind from the sea lowers the summer and raises winter temperature. Wind from the land lowers the winter temperature and raises summer temperature. Temperature depends upon the actors like latitude, altitude and duration of sunlight. Now what is humidity? Air is a mixture of gases. One of the important components of air is water or water vapors. The amount of water vapor that air can hold is determined by the amount of temperature. Higher the temperature, the more the water vapor the air can hold. So humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air at any given point of time. What is absolute humidity? Absolute humidity is the weight of water vapor per cubic centimeter of air. Whereas relative humidity is the percentage of water vapor in the air with respect to total amount of water vapor that air can hold at any given temperature. Humidity is given in parts per thousands. Thus, when we say the temperature is 32 degrees and uh, relative humidity is 75%, it means air has 78% water vapors that it can hold at 32 degrees Celsius. Now, what is precipitation? When air cannot hold more water vapor, is a saturation point is met, which if any more water vapor is added, condensation takes place, which leads to precipitation of water droplets in the form of rain, dew, mist, snow, and sleep. Now, what is the condensation? It is the change of state of water from vapor to liquids. What is the dew point? The temperature at which air is fully saturated leading to condensation is known as the dew point. Now these are some uh, types of precipitation which basically differs from the temperature. The amount of the uh, temperature basically analyze and differentiate all of these. What is the rain? The coalescence of droplets into drops remain suspended in clouds resulting in rain. Now what is sleet? Frozen droplets before falling on ground forms the pellet, which is known as the sleet. Now, what is the fog? Moist air meeting cold surface causes condensation of water vapor in air. Now, what is the mist? Similar to fog, but having heavier droplets than fog. Now, wind. Air moving from one direction to another horizontally is wind. Air in motion is caused by difference in pressure. Wind blows from region of higher pressure to low pressure. Now, what is the Carroll's effect? Due to Earth's rotation on its axis from west to east, all winds deflect to right in northern hemisphere and to left in the southern hemisphere. Now, these are some types of winds. Trade winds. As the temperature in equator is high, air becomes hot and rises up. Air moves northwards and southwards and descends near 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south, causing high pressure. Ships take advantage while sailing. Thus, these are known as the trading winds. Now, what are the westerlies? Anti-trade winds as they blow 40 degrees north to Arctic Circle, about 35 degrees north to Antarctic Circle. Now, what are the polar winds? These blow around the poles in temperate regions, they are extremely cold. The periodical winds, they blow in one direction, for example, monsoons, land and sea breeze. Now, what are the variable winds? These are the irregular winds. These are cyclones and anticyclones. In the last, I have a small activity for you, like always. You have to fill in the blanks. All of these answers are in the lecture. Now, number one is dash is the short term condition of a climate. Dash is ultimately responsible for weather. There are dash elements of weather. At sea level, one atmosphere is 
The three scales of temperature are Celsius, Kelvin, and dash is the change of state of water from vapor to liquid. This was all about my lecture. I hope you, uh, I hope you got it. I hope the things are clear to you. I hope you got a sufficient material for this, because this was basically a, a technical topic which needed a lot of research. If you need the sources, I will also mention it in the comment section. Or either if you have any query regarding the um, vocabulary, relating the material, regarding the, the uh, terminologies, you are most welcome to ask it in the comment section. So hereby, Allah Hafiz for now.